Good morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones. And I'm Karen McAfee. And this is your KWHS News. College and recruiter visits are in full swing in the Counseling Center during lunch and advisory. Remember, you need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Here's the lineup. Colorado College will stop by next Tuesday on September 25th. October visits kick off with Colorado Mesa University on Tuesday, October 2nd. Then on Wednesday, October 3rd, the CU Boulder Admissions reps will be here. That same day during lunch, the reps from the Barbizon Modeling School will be here in the Lower Commons. On Thursday, October 4th, we will have a very special visit from the U.S. Naval Academy in room 501 at lunch. If you are even remotely interested in attending the Service Academy, please mark your calendar to attend this visit. On October 11th, the reps from CSU Pueblo are scheduled to visit in the last visit we have for you in October for now is with the reps from Ozark Christian College who are scheduled to visit on October 16th. This just in. Luther College just scheduled a visit for Wednesday, November 7th. Fort Hayes State University in Kansas scheduled their visit on Tuesday, November 13th. On November 15th, UCCS has a visit scheduled. After Thanksgiving on November 29th, there will be a visit from Adams State. We will keep you posted on any changes to the schedule, so pencil them in on your calendar. Before we move on, the Counseling Center would also like juniors and seniors to know that WHS will be an ACT test site on Saturday, October 27th. The deadline to register for this exam date is September 28. If this date doesn't work for you, check out other testing dates and locations at this website. The no writing test fee is $50.50. The ACT plus writing test fee is $67. To register, check with the counseling office or go online at this website. Attention juniors, if you're interested in taking the PSAT NMSQT test, a qualifier for the National Merit Scholarship, WHS will be giving that on Wednesday, October 10th. The cost is $16 and space is limited to the first 20 people who sign up. The deadline to sign up is October 5th by the end of the day. And one last note from the Counseling Center for Juniors. The informational night for all juniors and their parents is tonight in the WHS Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. Although it's not mandatory, all juniors and parents are encouraged to come hear information that will help you prepare for your senior year and post high school plans. Also seniors, Whitefield High School will be hosting a financial aid night on Monday, October 1st at 5 p.m. in the library. This is a great opportunity to meet financial aid specialists to learn how financial aid works, how to apply for student loans, and most most importantly, how to fill out the FAFSA. If you can, bring your tax information to get started on that very important form. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Walker at his email or school number. And finally, seniors, your first senior class meeting will be on September 27th during advisory. Be sure to attend this meeting to get some very important information about your final year here. Check in with Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center for the details. DECA and FBLA will have a meeting today with Ms. Griggs in room 131. The 180 Club will also meet every Wednesday in room 5 with Mr. Sigmiller. And freshman account Council meets every Thursday in room 7 with Ms. Hines. The City of Lights Homecoming Dance is coming up on Saturday, September 29th from 7 to 11 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Tickets are on sale this week in the business office for $10 per person. If you buy them next week, the cost will be $15 per person. If you wait until the dance, tickets at the door will cost you $20. Guest forms for homecoming are available in the main office, and the deadline to turn those in is this Friday, September 21st. Ladies, Becca's Closet has new inventory. Make an appointment with Miss Ford in room 122 to shop for your dress. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Coming up, we'll have Miss Betsy and her guest with today's lunch menu, so stay tuned. First, let's head to the sports desk with Kieran Dulo for scores and upcoming sporting events. What's going on, Kieran? Wednesday morning, Gladiators. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. After losing to the Vanguard School last week, the boys' tennis team couldn't regain their spirit and suffered another stinging loss to the Scorpions. The boys traveled to Fountain Fort Carson on Friday for an all-day tournament, and we hope that they get those rackets swinging. We'll have results on Monday. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads took on Pueblo Centennial last Wednesday, but were not able to win at home. The ladies are matched up against the Falcon Falcons tomorrow night at 6 p.m. here at home. Come cheer on the girls as they work to tether those Falcons for a win. Stay tuned for those scores on Friday. In softball news, the Lady Glads softball team were on the road yesterday against Canyon City and swung another win into their season record. Nice job, ladies. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh. The ladies are at Doherty High School this Friday and Saturday for a tournament. We'll have scores for you on Monday. On Tuesday night, our boys soccer team kicked in a win to their books. Nicely played, gentlemen. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh. 
Our cross country team was at the Rock Canyon High School invite last Saturday and they clocked some very respectable times. Ryan Outler and Miles Mena were the top two WHS finishers for the men's team while Caitlin Anderson and Sophia Mena were the top WHS finishers for the ladies team. The team is headed to the Coronado invite on Thursday for a meet. We'll have results for you next week. Our Gladiator marching band earned a third place finish at the Harrison competition last Saturday. This weekend you can catch the band at the community parade and then later at at the big game. They have new uniforms and weather permitting may break them out for us this weekend. In our Friday night lights, our Gladiator football team traveled to Centaurus High School but couldn't tackle the Warriors and our Glads added another loss to their season record. But no worries, our Glads are pumped up for this week's match against the Purple School. Be in the stands at 1 p.m. for the WSD3 showdown. We are the home team this year. Go Glads beat Mesa. Today is hat day for NHS. If you did not get your wristband, ask your teacher to let you get them after the news this morning. Since this is Spirit Week, the Football Booster Club is selling shirts for $5 at lunch today until Friday. There's a limited number of shirts, but get yours for the big game on Friday. And finally, Friday is a blue out for the big game. Wear your gladiator gear and get your face painted and come listen to some school music in the quad at lunch. Go Lads, be Mesa! Whoosh! That's your gladiator sports update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to you, Jeremiah and Corinne. Thanks for the update, Kieran. Glads, if you need a quiet space after school to do some homework, use the computers, or just kill some time until practices or games start, check out Student Union. Student Union is open in the library every day after school from 2.45 until 4.15. They have games, puzzles, books, and a teacher if you need some help. Remember, you have to have a participation sticker on your ID to stay in play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. Are you hungry yet? Here's Miss Betsy and her guests with today's lunch menu. Hey! Miss Betsy. Students, remember to return your free and reduced lunch applications. The deadline is September 27th. After that date, you will have to pay full price for your lunches. If you did not have your picture taken or you need to retake your photos, picture retake day is this Friday. This is for students and teachers. If you are retaking your photo, you must return the picture order you receive. Also, if you need that after school participation waiver for clubs, study sessions, or to use the library, you can also get those in the main office. When you turn in your waiver, you will get a sticker for your ID. The school store is open in the cafeteria. Pick up your gladiator gear at lunch on Mondays and Fridays, and before school on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You can also get your class color shirts here for $15. Get yours today for Spirit Week next week. Speaking of Spirit Week, get your outfits ready for next week and show your spirit. Remember, this is a competition week for points. Right now, the freshmen and juniors are tied with five points, and the sophomores and seniors are tied with seven points. Spirit Week is a chance to earn more points for your class, so get those outfits ready for seventh hour counts. Here's the dress up day schedule. Monday, September 24th, preppy day, just like your favorite fraternity or sorority college students. Hats will be allowed. Tuesday, September 25th, meme day, dress as your favorite meme. Wednesday, September 26th, tie-dye day, wear your favorite tie-dye. Thursday, September 27th, Colorado day, dress in your favorite Colorado gear. Friday, September 28th, class color day, wear your class color. Students, Renaissance applications are now available on the WHS website under activities. You will need to download and print your application to apply for this honor. Applications are due on October 1st by 3 p.m. to Ms. Price in the main office. And finally, seniors, listen up. Your senior photo and quotes are due by October 19th. See Ms. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those for the yearbook. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones. And I'm Corinne McAfee. And this was your KWHS News. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh.